in reality, some of you might not even know what this location is. You may never have seen it before. You don't really have any reason to come here if you play by the books. This is Security Post Career, and the SIG developers have a very interesting plan in mind come 318. That's the next patch coming. Now, do I agree with it? Let's find out. Okay, so for those of you that are new here, let me break it down for you. SPK, or Security Post Career, is a security post on the outskirts of Crusader around the moon of Selen. It's basically the only, or it will soon be, the only place to get rid of your crime stat if you're a naughty little criminal. Just like it was way back in the day, back when I was playing in 2.6, 3.0 era. This is where well, the universe was much smaller than the one we have today. And Security Post Korea sort of acted like a PvP hub. You'd go here knowing full well that you would get into a fight. Not could, would. And I think that is what SIG are trying to bring back. They're trying to force PvP. However, now, if you approach Korea, you're going to immediately notice Crusader has moved in at this point. Uh, they're going to be using this facility as it was intended. Uh, and the way they're, they're doing this and we're doing this to hopefully entice PvP at this location is we're firstly beefing up the exterior security of Korea. You'll still be able to wipe your crime stat there. That is always going to be uh, wanted at Korea. But the new thing we've done is we've removed the UGF crime stats. You will no longer be able to go to a UGF to wipe it. Obviously, that's going to focus criminals and and. Uh like law enforcement, those are role play law enforcement uh, into that area. Security Post Korea, like I said, is going to be the single hub for you to get rid of your crime stat. No more are the bunkers on Hurston, on Crusaders, planets and moons, on any of the other planets and moons inside of the solar system. You will only be able to go to SPK to remove a crime stat of level one up to five. I get it, you proclaim. Being a criminal is a choice. You don't have to be a bad guy. Why should bad guys be treated fairly? Well, to put it simply, SIG want to support criminal gameplay. This implementation of SPK is exactly that. It's supporting criminal gameplay. And well, let's be honest, they've had criminal gameplay in the personal tab for almost a decade. Now, what does it SIG actually want to do? We met with new online turrets that will not be too happy with you arriving. It's now going to be even harder for people to approach and land. When you get there to land, you might find some enemies on the landing pad to thwart your infiltration of Korea. When you're inside Korea, there'll be Crusader security all around that you'll have to take out if you want to use that station. After killing a few of them, a security chief will spawn. Now, if you take this guy down and you look around, he will have a security code on him. You can take his data pad off, operate his terminal, and then start this contraband dispenser. It's a device that goes into the into Korea's storage facility and pulls up contraband that was deposited by the law enforcement. And the great thing about that is obviously we've got some highly valuable drugs in the game. We're making uh, even more highly prohibited and expensive goods. Uh, as well as crap, just we, you know, we'll throw some worthless rubbish in there. So it's an absolute gamble. Well, when they bring back SBK, they want to bring it back with even more security. Their claim is that in the past, security post career has been left abandoned by the Crusader security team, left to fester and rot and become a cesspit of bad guys and bad influence. Now, however, they've decided to proclaim and take back what they have invested their time and money in and turn security post career into the long-standing security outpost it was meant to be by doing this i believe they're going to bring in more well flying around and random security maybe even patrols at the actual security hub will it be filled with nine tails anymore 
who knows? They could probably dynamically create an event like they do with the missions to clear it out. But I suspect Security Post's career will become like any other Security Post bunker on any of the other moons and planets around the system. A place to go to find some loot and also put your life at risk for hanging out in a restricted area without the proper precautions. All of this means that getting there will be harder. There'll probably be more pilots to fight, more turrets to deal with, and if I'm not joking, uh, more bounty hunters as well. That's right, bounty hunters. Because this is now the only location you'll be going to, SIG hope that by limiting your choice, bounty hunters and pirates alike will meet up in space in SPK for more duels, more PvP fights, and more interactions to create what I guess they imagine to be fluid and organic gameplay. This right here is where I shall start my argument against the implementation of the SPK changes because I really do not think they introduced fluid and dynamic gameplay. I think it's all just a little bit forced. I ring to you, of course, the truth that is Jumptown 2.0. It is not the same. It is not the junk town of old. It is not the junk town that I remember. And maybe even most of you remember. Junk town when it was first, well, made a thing by the community was just spontaneous. It was because of a glitch in the matrix. It was because the price of illegal commodities was so sky high that going there to get your riches just made sense. When SIG tried to reintroduce Jumptown with uh, a forced gameplay scenario to which you had to go and retrieve stolen illicit material or maybe even sell illicit material for an extra kickback from some not so savory characters, it of course incentivized players to go all at once at a certain time of day whenever SIG decided the servers should allow for it. It's a bit of a problem I have with SIG. Making events time scheduled specifically for certain periods I understand that it's for testing, but it really does not actually create a fun and engaging environment. Unfortunately, Jumptown 2.0 is, I think, disappointing. It's boring to know that when you go there at a certain time, things will always be the same. It's also a shame to only have certain times to go. You can't really plan around or structure your entire org around that sort of time, but everyone has freedom to play, like maybe you or I do. It's also Jump Town itself. The location is awful. One entrance to a building full of bad guys with an airlock too? What are you thinking, Sig? Luckily, Security Post Career doesn't have this problem. It's actually got four doors, four airlocks, two upper and two lower. I think that's splendid. Absolutely fantastic, actually. In fact, it might even be more than four. It might be six. At the end of the day, SBK is much better in that regard, but it also has its own problems. Turrets and that now introduced heightened security. That raises true concerns for me. I have no problem getting into Korea, and I do think the inside of Korea is great for PvP. I'll discuss more on that a little bit later. But the outside of Korea is an absolute garbage mess. We have landing pads which you can't land on because you will get obliterated. And my concern here is not for the group of players and the experience like yourself. Those of you flying in hurricanes, barrier defenders, things with size 2 shields and above, you might be okay for a quick hot drop and landing. I'm thinking about the single player. The guy that may have gone to his terminal to pay off his fine to only find out he's got no money left because the mission he was on earlier completely fell apart. And he may have only stolen a vehicle to get a crime set of one, but that is still punishable by death, according to the UEE. So he goes out of his way to get to security post career to get rid of his crime stat, thinking it might be easy. Lo and behold, he gets trapped in an exit animation and almost gets blown up along with his ship. Luckily enough, he manages to choose a ship which actually has a quick get out animation, unlike an Aurora or other similar ships. You then have to run all the way through what could be a blockade of ships, players, bounty hunters, if everyone is going to be standing here and waiting for you, and reach the airlock safely. Now, I'm a master of PvP, and I've served my time at Korea. In fact, if you don't know anything about Star Marine, I play it all the time, one of the maps is pretty much based on SPK. So, I think that the inside of SPK is definitely a doable PvP environment. However, the actual main hub, the main center section, is not. 
When you are trying to get rid of your crime stat, as it stands today, you are exposed. The balcony to which I'm standing on now looks over the entire area and is surrounded with windows. It is extremely easy for an NPC, a player, or anyone to kill you. And that's not really a problem. Of course, players should be able to kill you. But with God markers being what they are, and with of course desync being what it is for the foreseeable future, there is no real way to fight against it. It is always Pika's advantage, and it's just not a very fair PvP environment. For this PvP environment to be better, all of these walls that you see around me now need to be a lot taller. There needs to be defense for someone standing here looking at the hacking terminal, who may also have to stop the hacking terminal from malfunctioning to continue from getting absolutely obliterated. Again, I'm not talking about the groups and I don't know, maybe the orgs that take this SPK as an entirely new event. I'm talking about the solo player, the inexperienced, maybe the young and naive. The people that want to come here because they have no real other option other than sitting in a boring and abominable clash of facilitation facility and just, at the end of the day, suffering even more than if they had tried to get rid of their crime stack. SIG have not been open about the details as it pertains to how long hacking will take and what other mechanics are going to be in place and also changed to make it more accessible for players. But if they just implement the changes as they are seen today in the video from ISC, I honestly do think it is a bad idea and a bad direction. My main complaint is always going to be the heightened security in turrets. It makes it completely unfair for people to get inside. I would personally say remove some of the turrets or at least make a really easy spot for players to hide in around SPK. You might say that already exists, and yes, I agree with you, it does right now today because the game is quiet. But with heightened security and bounty hunters knowing full well where you're going to be, it makes that, you know, hiding in the dark completely irretrievable. It makes that hiding in the dark in a safe spot completely impossible. There's no way to do it, and there will be no way to do it. It is going to be an absolutely one-sided event, and at the end of the day, being a bad guy is supposed to bring joy to players that want to catch them. It's not supposed to be fish in a barrel, Sig. And I really hope you can reorganize your criminal gameplay to make it more exciting to be a criminal. It shouldn't be a punishment to play the game as you intend, Sig. And at the end of the day, it's those players that, in reality, know very little and have very little experience that I am truly worried about. I think SPK will do more harm than good, just like I think the new and improved version of Junktown does more bad than good as well. This might be a very polarizing opinion, and I understand that you might not share it. So let me know in the comments down below what you truly think. Of course, what I'm saying is purely hyperbolic and speculation. There's no way for me to be completely 100% sure until we get it in our hands. But with the delays being what they seem to be and the complete lack of communication from SIG also being what it seems to be, there's no way to tell when we might actually be able to test this thing for ourselves. So until that inevitable date in the future, I bid you all farewell and I'll see you guys in the verse. Goodbye for now. I understand this video is a bit more speculative and maybe a bit more opinionated, but you can go and watch any of the videos here on screen for more content from myself. You can even come and watch me live twitch.tv forward slash doomeister pretty much whenever you like for some great content. I'll see you when I see you.